Da ba da da ba da da ba da da ba da ba 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 da ba da da ba da da. Hello there, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers. Been a little bit, but we're back after a bunch of weird episodic content, such as three wave capture and the electric sheep. Um, and this time around, we're here to check out another level made by Mark Fontaine. Been a little bit of time, um, actually only a couple levels if you really are considering, um, the capture the flag, the three-wave capture, I believe, was it CTF-5, I want to say? Die War Wargrounds, I believe, was made by Mark Fontaine, so it hasn't been too, too long. But at the same time, he's also made this particular level, which actually was made towards the end of October. So, we're going a little bit back in time. Um, I didn't really see this one stored anywhere else. It was past the period whereby I had, like, um, previously set myself as, like, a boundary. Um, October 25th. This was me on October 27th. So, needless to say, it was something I couldn't have really seen before. It's now part of the list that I have now. So, therefore, let's check it out. What is it that we're checking out? We're checking out the Tower of Babel. Yes, people. <laughs> um, apparently, we have found our way to a Cyber Demon boss fight for Quake. Okay, so um, I'm rather anticipating this one. We have yet to actually get a boss fight level. Um, and this could definitely be useful to throw as like an end level for my stripper based modification if I can. Um, definitely be interesting if I could like. Find a way to like soup up the uh, cyber demon or whatnot to make him like really tough and brutal. Um, so yeah, definitely nice to have some sort of boss level. Hopefully we get a bunch more of these as time goes on. I, I want a bunch of bosses for Quake. So um, th that's the biggest problem when it comes to m making my modification is that I can't really make... Um, well, I can't modify levels. Basically, levels have, like, BSP files aren't really easily modifiable. It basically causes a bunch of errors if you try and open up a Quake Army Knife. And I can't think of many other editors that can modify actual BSP files as opposed to, like, a .mat file or the various other types that are out there. There's a bunch of different formats of edited map files. But as for the finished product of a .bsp, not many can modify them. So, that kind of makes it a problem. But, I digress. We're going to play this level. We're going to have fun. And as said, like um, while I can't exactly make many uh, uh, boss base levels, at least this seems to be here a boss base level that exists. So, needless to say, we can take advantage of this and include it and mess with it and have this one kind of going. At least it's something, right? Even if it's not exactly like its own pure little stripper thing. Um, I could try and make my own level, but um, the technology to try and make levels back in 1996 is absolutely a headache. And honestly, making levels for Quake in general is an absolute headache. Uh, I I'd rather make levels for almost any other game, <laughs> either like earlier, like Doom is easier, or make them for a bit later, like Unreal Ed Engine or Drumhead or any of those. Um, Quake is a really funky period of time, I feel. I feel like a lot of the editors were kind of there, kind of not. And really, you see, after like 97 or so, they really didn't improve upon many editors. And even the ones that do appear, I feel, are unintuitive, to say the least. They don't really work well for me. And so needless to say, I end up not really wanting to bother with it too, too much. So, regardless of all that, let's actually load this thing up and see when God's name I'm dealing with. Anyway, as said, this is Mark Fontaine. He played Doom. He loved it. Built levels. Loved even more. Passed out after looking at Quake for the first time. Played it. Loved it. Started building levels and adored it. Anyway, have you ever played Doom? Then you'll know what this is about. If you if you don't want to be surprised, go on and read spoiler.txt. He advises you not to, though. Um, we have played Doom, so we know exactly what he's probably talking about, unless he's modified around E2M8 a lot. Um, I don't know what exactly has changed from the original boss fight level, so that is, needless to say, going to be a bit of the mystery. So, we're not exactly sure what we're going to deal with. I just have the general idea. 
um, that this is going to be a Cyber Demon boss fight, obviously. Um, also, this is was made using Worldcraft, which is pretty obvious for this time period. And if you find any bugs, make sure to tell him, blah, blah, blah. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple. There's really not much to really um, showcase a lot here. Id Software has the copyright to most of this, as said, um, but this level was made by Mike Frontaine, blah, blah, blah. Let's actually see what in God's name we're, we're up against. As said, it's a boss base level. I can't imagine it being too, too rough. I, I imagine it's going to be, like, as similar to the normal Tower of Babel as possible. As said, I, I probably am going to do some crazy little things when it comes to um, Stripper, make it a little bit more of, like, a proper final boss fight. At least I wish I could do something a bit crazier for the final boss fight, but sadly, um, I think I'm pretty limited. So, at least for the time being, we'll have some sort of boss going. We'll have something going there. So, yeah. Um, spoiler alert. This might be the final level for Stripper. So, yeah, let's see here. Let's actually get this thing going and see what exactly we're kind of facing. Because I've been rambling here for a couple minutes and not really playing any levels. And there's really little to actually talk about besides loading up the level. It'd be awesome if they could actually, like, include the music track, but I doubt they can. Because Quake and audio CDs and all that garbage. I could try and, like, modify it using, like, IMMDLL. I think I could, like, add extra tracks in there. I don't think it's limited to the number that was existed before. But at the same time... One, that it becomes almost clunky to try and get it working with other people. And two, it, it just isn't the same as having it just naturally working in the first place. It'd be a lot of extra resources for one level in general. So needless to say, not really going to be something to bother with adding extra music, which also kind of stinks. Because I'd love adding extra music and having an extra, um, have an actual Tower of Babel song, song going on here. Uh, maybe more heavy metalish or something like that. But sadly, I think it's going to be whatever we kind of get. So let's load this thing up. And by load this thing up, I mean we're going to have errors and fail to load it up. I imagine because I still have the PAK file open. Uh, no, I don't have the PAK file open. Now, why am I not able to load the file? It's Babel. B-A-B-E-L. Did I say like Babel? I, I couldn't imagine I misspelled that. So, what was the problem? I don't have anything loaded. Let's try loading this again. Maybe I misspelled it for some reason. I don't know how in God's name I managed to misspell Babel, but, uh... No, it's failing to load it. Well, that's weird. Honestly, like I said, I don't know what it is about PAK files, but I noticed this type of weirdness happens a lot. It's why I don't like PAK files as a general rule. Because they tend to be very clunky with being loaded. I don't know why they tend to not load right. Um, it just is a thing. And I tend to fight with it. And it tends not to work right at all. So I like to just rip out the raw resources and work with it that way. And you'll probably see when I load these out that it will actually work. So I'm just going to rip the resources out. Call it a day. Say who cares about the babble. Maybe I need to, like, change the PAK to, like, PAK0, but then wouldn't that overwrite the original PAK? I don't know. Um, probably better just to keep the raw resources and call it a day, as said. So, you're gonna load this. And there we are! Look at that! Only one monster. I figured there'd be some, like, weaker enemies, like Lost Souls running around or something. But, yeah, it's pretty simple. You have your uh, yellow armor. You have your four corners. I see, so you press these and the staircase is raised. Let's get these prepared because we're going to need to have all the room possible when face off against the cyber demon. Pro tip, shoot it until it dies. Oh god, it walled me in and I don't have a rocket launcher on hand. That's a bigger problem, isn't it? But yeah, you can see these are using the doom textures, aren't they? Oh god, where's that itsy bitsy cyber demon's gonna try and shoot me? He's somewhere around here and I do not want to see him! Um... Uh, oh, at least I got some plenty of health. Oh look, this one opens! Hooray! The other one kind of sealed me in, so that would be a big bad problem. Okay, that gives me a hundred rockets. We're ready to face him. Where is he? Where is that big bad cyber demon? 
The biggest issue was I didn't have rocket launcher ammo before. Oh look, there he is! He's just kind of awkwardly standing around, looking stupid and stuff. Shouldn't he be able to see me right now? Hello? There he is! As you see, it's just like Doom. You shoot at him, you run in circles, and well, yeah! It's just like the Doom fight. Except, you know, it's easier to strafe a Quake than Doom. Because people by the days of Quake knew how to move around in full 3D. So needless to say, this is kind of a boring boss fight. So now we just keep running around in circles and I'm shooting the Cyber Demon. This is honestly going to be a pretty boring boss fight. As I said, we definitely need to like soup up him, make him more tough, because this is kind of boring. Like I said, I, I really don't think I'm going to have any risk of dying here even. I wonder if the level will end after I kill him. It would be nice, but somehow I doubt it. Somehow I just imagine it's going to be like... Yeah, see there you are! You, I blew him up, he died, I shot him until he died. There he is, dead cyber demon. As you see, the level doesn't end or really anything happen. Oh, oh, look at this. I guess I spoke too soon. Here is the level exit. Look at this. So you walk in here and you exit the level. Brilliant. Okay, I, I totally support that idea. The fact that it actually had a proper level exit. Now, the biggest problem with the whole cyber demon currently is it's made relatively true to the original Doom. And the problem with it is the original Doom boss was really made at a period of time where people didn't know how to strafe, didn't know how to really deal with like stuff like the Cyber Demon. And so it felt a lot more dangerous then than say it does now. Um, needless to say, the Cyber Demon here felt rather simple. <laughs> um, it, it definitely wasn't the most intense of boss fights ever made. Um... But it definitely was nice to see and is definitely um, always an awesome thing to see a Cyber Demon boss fight. Um, you can't really go wrong with a Cyber Demon boss fight. It just is, like I said, that it is kind of lackluster because it is on the bit of the easier side. By the days of Quake, it's not exactly um, the most fancy of bosses. But I said, at least it's better than, say, the days of um, Shubnigarath. Yeah, it's, it's better than Shub Niggurath's boss fight was. I, I just wish... I, I think the rockets are also relatively weak for the Cyber Demon. Maybe it was the red armor. Maybe it was whatever. But yeah, I definitely feel like the rockets were definitely on the very weak side. And overall, the boss fight felt relatively like a weaker opponent. So, I think if I'm going to include this in Stripper, I'm going to have to definitely soup it up a lot. I'm not sure how or, uh, I'm going to pull this type of thing off. But at the same time, it's a potential idea. We'll see, I guess, what I'm going to really do with this. So, with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure. I got a boss fight to try and make a lot more fancy. See you all next time.